Bloop bloop everyone, welcome back to the stalemate of the century. At least luckily there is a stalemate right now. And Santa Ana is uh, ramping up production of troops. Oh yeah, oh god, he got 10 more in the last little while. Well, that's great. Uh, we are defending here. Uh, you know what? Go here, please. We need more defense. Try playing attacker, that's pretty nice. So we could technically build some ground support, which is great. Put you here for now for more air defense, because that keeps our, us alive in, in the air. So our mega production is not gonna impede anything there. Okay, we are in the in the green again with anti-tank rivals. We need a few more. Um, and give those to our infantry as well, and probably also to our motorized division before we can attack. We need at least the, the anti-tank rivals and maybe some some fire teams as well for more piercing even. And I probably want um, that on power armor. We have the US, uh, USA HQ, USSA HQ. Valley bandits, oh that took a while. Uh, we can also do uh, this time as a farce which um, gives us some political power and allows us to build some bunkers and get some Alamo defenders. These are pretty good. I do want the recon focus, definitely. Because the static anti-air hit chance is not that great. That's all that's changing. This is way better. This is way, way better. Encryption up, decryption up. No one will ever be able to decrypt us, ever. If we have this and if we go through the tree, that's that's it. No one will be able to, to surpass us there, which is great. Um, but yeah, I do want this. It's only five days, so that's going to be really quick. And we want the Alamo Defenders. That's another power armor squadron that I don't have to train myself. And we just got some, some power. Uh, history is doomed to repeat itself after all. While the robot general rally rallies his forces, will prepare ours. Texan against Mexican, human against machine, victory will be ours. Well, let's hope. That's another 30 days, so I'm more interested in hacking to progress there. Because we are getting the necessary things ready. Uh, I think division recovery rate could be good. Don't need manpower right now. Manpower is fine. Since we got the extra 3%, which is pretty good. We will need the manpower, trust me. I would like the scribe. And also this. This is pretty important right now. Because we suck. Factory output is even hurting. Yeah, let's get this guy. So factory output is not a problem anymore. Because we definitely need, need to keep factory output high. That is everything that keeps us alive right now. And we do need more power armor still. Oh god. This is a farce. Yeah, with so much more power armor. Should I go for... I can't... I, I cannot forget it if I do this. Reinforcements are... preferred. But we don't need reinforcements anyway, so everything is going where it needs to be right now. This... we could make recon planes. Not that we can produce them, so it's probably worthless and useless. Uh, that is not what I wanted. I wanted to go here. No. Here. Yeah, we do need this. Uh, production efficiency cap and growth. More factories in the state. More factory output from... Actually, no. Or is that just 8% every time? That's amazing, then. Yeah, I think we need this. Uh, we could go for radio. Not that interested right now. I think more production is all we need. It's literally all we need. And we could go from gliders to fighters, because why not? I mean, we're not producing them anyway. And we also want at least a token production thing in here. So if we have factories, we're going to use them. Good, we have a factory here. So we are producing them already? Well, we got another one somewhere. Oh, maybe from the occupation. That could be it. Are we suppressing them good? We are. And we are getting compliance, so we get local militias, which, which saves us some manpower as well. Minus 10% garrisons. 
We're not doing much um, against them right now. We do have the manpower. We could go to road patrols and gain some more compliance. It increases the damage to garrisons though, and that is not something I do want. Yeah, but we do need more com compliance gain at some point, and uh, for now that's fine. Settlement guards gives us more resources and less required garrisons, which is great because we already don't need much. Yeah, we need we need to core these guys. That is important. Getting there. What is happening? What is wrong with you? We do have everything in production that I need to, so just stop it. Stop the blinking. Nope, Mr. Blinky Blinky. So we're safe here for now. The question is, can I get my people back? Yeah, your strength is still lowered. Assassin City. So they're going through their tree now, but they are slowed down, which is great. I'm happy that they won though. It's cool. The battle for the Hoover Dam. Cool. Let's see who wins. I hope it's not the Kaiser because that would be bad. Well, not for me, but you know in general. Maxon's chapter is going to die. That's bad. Our brothers are falling one by one. We are still in the red. Oh, that's good though. We increased our our trade. Or something. Max speed. Oh, that's probably also the occupation that gives us more money. Yeah, definitely. See, that is so good. And more cap, yes. I mean, we, we actually don't need the cap, mind you. Because there are some things that will help us completely ignore the cap and still get power armor like crazy. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler there. Uh, this is another 3%, no, 5% research speed. Okay, 5% is nice. Even nicer. Where should we go through? We could get some free power armor here, which is probably good. But I would like to save that a little bit more. This is good. More research speed on... on radar tech, and we need to go here at some point, and we need the radar tech, so... Let's sneak that one in. But I'm gonna go for more uh, for for a damage bonus here. Oh, we need to we need to attack at some point, and we need to stress them. Otherwise, they will just outproduce us like crazy. I mean, they will either way. Although that has gone down that number, maybe because we got more information. That's actually good. Oh, the old world wall holds. They they didn't take it, Kaiser. Kaiser didn't take it. Which is actually against the law, but, you know, I'm fine with it. There it is. More security codes. Good. Launch the expedition now. And let's go through the first few levels here. Uh, do we need... I think we need... I think we need... I think we need more experience. Because now, we have someone here and we can... Uh, reduce our supply use and after a bit, more organization, more organization, recovery rate recovery rate and this is pretty good soft attack soft attack heart attack soft attack heart attack we don't need the robots we do need all the other trees here and also this this is this has changed <gasps> this gives an effect army experience gain and special forces capacity multiplier now Ooh, they changed that they they put a sneaky sneaky little update in oh that's nice i like it yeah going here is good but that takes so much experience I think for now, reducing supply use is fine with me. And let's do that a little bit harder even. That's okay. And also modifying the template is... Uh, the templates with power armor is now cheaper. Which is pretty good. Uh, you have anti-tank. We could give you some recon. We don't have... Okay, we don't have anything, so it's fine. Uh, this is all about to happen. Security door, uh, door Gamma 13. Last time we ventured into the depths of Fort Hood, we managed to reach this door. Impassable and with no alternative route in sight. A massive hulk through here to further... No, a massive hulk of reinforced metal blocking any further progress. But we need to get through here to further uncover the secrets of the past. Who knows what wonders will wait for us behind this obstacle. So, you can use brute force. Not gonna help. You can find a way around, 
not gonna help. It says that it, there is no alternative route. We know that. So doing this uh, would just say, Ah, oh, I told you so. Nothing happening and you have to wait another five days. Retreat won't help. Hacking the system does help. So let's do that. We are through. We managed. Uh, we managed. Let us delve onwards ever deeper. Every step forward brings us closer to victory. Bound by steel. And this gives us some really nice bonuses. And even more important, arms workshops. Two more, which is great for us. So great. Uh, where are they, though? There they are. Look at that. 15 now. So we got good production on M source and we got good pro better production on power armor as well. Um, I'm probably gonna put the next two here and then we're good for a little bit. Do I even want dynamite right now? I don't think so. I'd rather have some other stuff, even mini nukes to be honest. But fighters and triplane fighters are a thing that we need. So, not much has happened in this war so far, which is bad. We need to work on that. They are definitely going to outproduce us. We are almost there in civilian factories, where we want to be. Desperados already. Oh god, I'm so scared of the Texan Brotherhood if they decide, or the Ironmongers, or these guys. If anyone decides to, to kill us, we're so done. Already? No, it's just these guys. Okay, they, they chained the war. I see. I could try and poke. Let's see what poking does. So, remind you. 11 and 109. Let's see what that does here. I mean, it looks like we're winning for a second. We boosted the signal. Houston decays. Uh, Houston's decay has done us no favors. Oh, we do have the intel advantage. That's pretty good. That's a little bit. Um, their space center, as useful as it is, has nowhere near the power needed to reach the Western Brotherhood for extended communication. Yeah, and that's why we need to progress there, but that's okay. We don't need that now. The intel bonus is fine. Where do we need to go? We could go for the bunker grid. Yeah, I do want these guys. Go for the bunker grid. We didn't even lose people so far. Oh my god, I'm impressed with my people. Let's let's push a little bit harder, you know? Just yeah, look, this is not looking as as great. But making them lose some equipment and stuff could be nice. Oh my god, we even pushed through. Let's see if you guys can do that as well. And just stress them a little bit more. Yeah, we lost some people, okay. Uh, but they lost some as well, but they lost less. We lost... No, okay, we lost about the same. Yeah, this is not gonna, gonna go well. For now. But now they have to put more on the front line. And if we can get Reynosa, that's gonna be bad for them. Yeah, okay, this is not gonna go anywhere now. We could try and get Reynosa. The problem is they can't cut us off if they want to. So we should try and get this first. Yeah, we lost a lot more people than they did now. The squishies shouldn't fight. Only the only the power armor should fight. Uh, let's see. We do have some experience, which is cute. That is useless. That is still that's absolutely useless at all points. This could be good. Making our ground uh, attack better is nice. I would so much like to go for blimps, but there is never a good spot for blimps. I think I'm gonna go for this guy. Don't need you now. I do need you though. More research is great, uh, more, more factories are great. Yeah, they don't reinforce even. Look at that. Not a bit, but not much. That's fine. They're a little agitated right now. Look at all these robots. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Follows I'm not gonna read that. They suck. Hostile. Go away. We need to, we need to put everything in here now. 
Yeah, raid their supplies. I don't care. Seize them. We, we need to keep this open now. I need to get rid of them. There is no way I'm going to accept the followers of the apocalypse being here in our country. Okay, we are still winning, but it's extremely costly at the moment. And now they're pushing hard because they know we go for their capital and that's not great for them. Oh, this is bad. If they can get this here, we're dead. I should have I should have saved this before. Advance the grid. Okay, 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 okay. Uh this is important. I will show you why. Yes, go for the raider. Okay, we keep this. Uh, you know what? Just just go back. Just retreat. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just don't die on me. Yeah, we lost way too many peeps. Would you please retreat? Thank you. Just leave it to them. It's fine. Yeah, see, that's why it is risky. And we lost a lot of people for no reason at all. And no gain. So, this is, this is how it's gonna go for a bit. There's some more people, at least. Let's go for standardized tools. We got pushed back, and now we're getting pushed back even more. So, retreat, please. Pandora's box. When our men descended into the depths of the research facility scouted by Vancouver Mavens, most of them never returned. A member of the party reports being ambushed by sentry bots soon after getting foot and uh, setting foot into. Yeah, that's really bad. A few brave soldiers made it home. Manpower, 40 units of infantry equipment. Oh, great. So we lost a lot. We got some experience, which is good. So that is still kind of worth it somewhat. Could you please stop attacking them, you idiots? Port more. Metal working is done. That is pretty nice. We do need that. Uh, I lost some people, but it's not... I mean, this gives month monthly population, which is good, so let's let's just do it. There's no reason not to. So, this little venture was not useful at the moment. We are not good enough yet. We do need anti-tank rivals with our squishies as well, otherwise we'll not be able to survive this. And we lost way more than they did, so really, really bad decision there to attack. And that's why I didn't before. Because we just cannot win. We cannot hold our ground that we take. We will soon... We need a bit more people for that. These guys need to be a little bit quicker trained. Oh, this is really bad. Um, give them low equipment priority. I want a, a trickle of troops there, but I don't need them right now. And the problem is we are still producing with one factory there. We should probably go for a bit more. Armor frame hardening is nice. We could do this a little bit quicker. We could do this a little bit quicker. And I think this is more important because we're not going to produce strip PA anyway. I'm not going to use uh, my dear experience because... Should I go for more doctrines? This is useless. There are no, no other things here. Uh, what can I do with experience otherwise? We can change templates. Question is, do we have enough stuff? Definitely need anti-tank rifles everywhere. But you know what? Fire teams, oh, they're not as good is the problem. They're good for defense, like crazy saws, but... I do like the piercing here. I also want you to have recon, ev actually everyone, and then motorized recon, which would be so much better. Because they would gain armor, which would be great. No hardness, but at least armor. Uh, yada yada... Less damage. What was the hardness thing? Represents how much your division is made up of armored or at least protected vehicles. When attacked, a division adds together all soft attacks and hard attacks. A division with high hardness will suffer fewer soft attacks and, and more hard attacks and vice versa. Yeah, okay. So just armor is not enough, but more armor helps being, you know, harder. Uh, uh, we could maybe do this. We have this. We have the support equipment, which is good. We want this, and now it's gonna get a little bit sad. 
But we do want to protect our manpower. Do we have enough? Uh, oh, the infantry equipment is now a problem. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, right, because all of these need infantry equipment. Uh, yeah, I can't do this all. Not right now. Still so much infantry equipment, guys. What the hell? Yeah, Anti-tank weaponry is fine. But we do need it. Uh, and we can maybe ramp this up a little bit more. It's one a day already. It's not that bad. Advance the bunker grid. That's cool. And now get some really good troops. These are amazing veterans that just rip everyone apart. They, they are so great. You're not allowed to ever, ever lose them. Otherwise, you suck. <laughs> and I do. And no, I haven't, I haven't lost them. So far. Uh, yes. Let's take these two. Here and here. Because they are scrap trucks. They're actually pretty good to defend. Uh, I guess fine. I want the good one here as well anyway. And these two can, can hopefully defend against anything that's coming. If there is anything coming. Because they stop at some point to do these invasions. Which is neat. Because they are annoying. We have 3,000 manpower, which is pretty good for us. For being a brotherhood. Uh, yeah, we are suffering a, uh, bigly here. Um, almost done. Almost done. These, these need to finish and then we can concentrate on some factories here. We should have a good bonus to producing them. We could draw more generals. Oh, yeah, it's generals, right? Army leaders, field marshals, everything. Uh, oh god, I forgot the... the. Where is it? Follow us. Uh, I don't care what we do. Placate them, do anything. Rate them. They cannot be allowed to, to establish themselves. Do anything you can to stop that. In normal Fallout, in reality, and any other way, I would like them. Because they're amazing. Uh, in this game, they hurt you and cripple you all the time. They will take your good factories from you and make some stupid factories out of them. Should we go for radio first? We need we need the radar. The, the quicker we go down that tree, and we are there, we can do it now um, if we want, and I don't. Research finish for dynamite. I didn't never research that, but that's cool. But we got the Alamo defenders. Uh, we got the United Texan front, which we could try, but it's only one or the other, and I want this plea for help this time. So now it's other things. We are prepared there. We can do that at any point. We want this. Uh, we do want this, definitely, to get more information about our enemies. We do want this. We at some point want this, but I can... You know, I don't need it necessarily right now, but I do need this to, to get this, so uh, let's go this route. Just FYI, placate means try to make them happy with you. It makes it more likely that they... What? No. What? I'm doing hostile actions, your Malian. That doesn't make any sense. That cannot be. And look at how great these guys are. Level 5 veterans. 75% more combat strength. They are amazing. And they're actually a pretty hefty template, if you if you think about it. Oh, that's why they had dynamite. That's why we have the, the tech now, which is pretty cool. We saved some some research. Um, through some political web weaving, we can try and improve our relations with the followers somewhat. Really, does that help them? That doesn't make any sense. I'm doing hostile actions. Why would anything of of I do here make them happy? But yeah, you're right. I I was wondering why placate, but. That's fine. We're still gonna get rid of them, I think. I hope. Maybe. Please. Usually I can get rid of them if I just focus hard on everything. So basically make up for uh, for your other hostile actions and remove the modifiers. Well, that's pretty dumb. Seize them. I don't care. Well, then I'm not gonna placate and do the other, other shit. It's still stupid. Yes! Rejected! We did well! Great. 
More mobilization speed. Yes, stability goes down, which is bad. I wish they wouldn't come here. But uh, war support goes up. Weekly war support goes up. Research speed goes down, unfortunately. But trust me, it's worse if they stay. It's definitely worse if they stay. And we are a research faction. We shouldn't have any problem, even with the minus 5% there. And we will get war support now like crazy source. Unfortunately, this modifier never gets uh, removed, right? Because they wanted to be here. Actually, there's no research speed in here anymore. Oh, we gained 5% research speed and now it just took it away. Fine with me. F you guys, go away. Normally, and in real life, I would support them hard because they are great people. They just want to make everyone's lives better and, and help people in the wasteland to get a good life and survive. And also research, like medicine and all the stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. And they're awesome, but in this game, they cripple you and make you lose. <laughs> Which is quite bad, as you might imagine. So we're doing that. We could go for this uh, breakthrough. It's pretty nice. We do have some time on that, though. Yeah, I can't produce what I have, but I can make stuff better that I have. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Already low on manpower again. Yeah, we have a big army. Kind of. I would argue with that, but okay. We need way more. We need double that easily. Double full armies, by the way. Is our problem. And I know I'm just staring at the same piece of map all the time here. Uh, but you see our losses there, so we need to get some edge. We need to get a significant edge here. Although Yeoman, cool, more mobilization speed, more recruit population, less stability. Bad, but we can get both of these, which is great. And I didn't think we could because this is a decision, but I don't care for immediate robotic stack and you can get that later as well. Uh, but yeah, gonna take this for the 8% extra damage, which is great. Go here. Uh, where are you going actually? Yeah, nowhere, that's great. Go here. No, that's not what I wanted. You join. Half of you join here. Perfection. So now we should have five and five. Or maybe not. Troll one declared. Yeah. This is... Oh yeah, we do have five on five, but these are a extra platoon. Um, this is so bad. That's why the... Uh, while the bone dancers are so hard to play with, because the troll one will just murder you. At, at any point. You can placate them somewhat. Uh, oh god, what is this? Oh, it's just patrolling, okay. I mean, do we even have boats? We don't even have boats anymore, so it's fine. Who cares? Battle plans with no assigned... You that is not a battle plan, guys. Come on. Don't be that stupid. And there are two units assigned. Didn't you see that? Okay, we are in the green again with bottle caps. That's good. We should be able to buy something soon. Texas Brotherhood making gains. Not good. I want anti-tank rifles and power armor. I need more of that. When we finally get into the good stuff, you know, more factories, everything is gonna change. What we really need is more of this. These 8% will make a difference. Not much, but some. This makes a difference as well. More breakthrough, more defense, more everything. But the problem is we are losing time here, and this is a battle we cannot win against time if we if we um, are not careful. I think I want the recovery rate. We have the best here anyway, best training and stuff, which is why our training takes so long. I'm not sure I really care about this right now. Is there anything we can do? We could get petty criminals. I mean, minus one organization. It's, it's a it's a swing of three percent, and it's just three percent more more recruited population. But I'm not sure it's the good recruited population. Is it? Is it the monthly or is it really? No, it's not. It's the monthly. So who cares? Or well, it's the effective total manpower. So uh, it's just a modifier on our eight percent there. Which is not that important to me right now. Not 
important enough to uh, to sacrifice three percent division organization and another two and stuff. No, no, I, I don't think this is this is really good. Mutants allowed and also doesn't give us much. Supply consumption is nice, but that's about it. Look at this. It's just the division organization goes so down, and if you don't have enough troops, this is not worth it in my opinion. We can't do slavery. We already muscle descent. Resistance target goes up. Hmm. This could be nice. I mean, bad weather penalty if you have the the blimps, but otherwise this is what we want. I mean, these are the, uh, literally the same, but this is from the Alamo chapter, so why not? Um, this is actually pretty good. But I think... Is there anything? Well-equipped army? Can we go? Ooh, every cap for the army. That That is something I've actually ignored all the time. That's 5% consumer goods factories that we would save, and there's no downside. I mean, the base node income goes down. But military factory construction speed, when we are about to do this... Yes. I think that's worth it. I think that is the best thing we could ever do right now. Shale's army. Ooh. And the Ironmongers declared on, on all of them. Okay, so whoever wins here will take this all. And that's probably going to be the Brotherhood, which is bad because that elongates our front line. But maybe it's not that bad. And we need the time to beat Santa Ana. We need to go. Circuit Breaker is almost done. Maybe we can do something when the Circuit Breaker arrives. Greetings, Elder. Uh, I mean, yeah, go here. It's fine. Uh, buddy, but no. Go here. Crop rotation, pretty good. More manpower, more stuff. More manpower per month, yada, yada, yada. All the things, all good. We do need this pretty quickly. But I could go for radio right now, which will help us concentrate our fire better. Because we have better coordination. Uh, prepare gate crasher is something we want. Research speed, but we get security codes. Unfortunately, I cannot do preparations because I don't have any dynamite production. And maybe that is the only reason why we want that right now. And we'll get that. That's fine. That's fine. We, we will produce more factories and we will produce them pretty quickly. So that's fine. Another 8%. We could go here for Shale's army and Ironmongers, but they're not going to exist anymore in a second. So I'm, I'm going to wait here. And not waste my time on that right now. We could go for more research. This is actually not bad, I think. Well, it's Navy organization. Army leader cost goes down, which is nice. Decryption goes up. Dockyard output, not important. And more intelligence stuff and stuff. So it's more Navy stuff here. And this needs this first. Which is cool. We can power through this pretty quickly and go here. And this is good. This stuff is amazing, I'm telling you. Uh, but first I could go here. I need to go here anyway. Uh, yeah, I think. But we do want to go harder into, into the fort. Um, because we get factories out of that. So that's just good. It's easy and quick. We need those factories, as you can see. We're getting there in power armor. That's pretty good. And we are producing some equipment. Now we, we had some reinforcement do being done, but... That stopped for some reason. Actually, no, go here. Uh, and then okay. you will go here. We have the 8%. I'm gonna try and punch through again. And I'm gonna do that with both of them. So they cannot focus as good. Oh, that's good. Traders from the Southern Empire. In the decades that followed the Great War, radiation soaked into the great forests and jungles of South America, irradiating the wildlife and poisoning the air. The jungles drank up the radiation of those horrible uh, warheads, slowly twisting out of all recognition into an irradiated hellhole. 
Once tame animals became vicious hunters and the multitude of snakes and spiders grew in size dram uh, drastically, preying on each other and the humans that remained. While South America was spared direct nuclear hits, they suffered terribly from mutated wildlife and falling crops, uh, failing crops. The survivors of the first decade would slowly regroup on the coast and the Patagonian Plateau uh, into one of the many southern empires, great raiding groups who controlled vast swaths of territory, always at war with each other and struggling to get by. Not all those who rested in those uh, these southern empires subscribed to their raiding philosophy, however. Coastal communities retaining independence through the payment of tribute to various factions have become wealthy trade hubs, trading animal hides and delicious rainforest fruits. These South American city-states have slowly been strengthening their trading links with nations on the Gulf of Mexico, who trade advanced components and scrap metal in exchange. A fleet of trading ships has recently docked in our ports and offers us a rare opportunity to snap up some rare commodities. We should act quick though, as they seldom stay for long, but they will come a few more times. The agriculture is really nice, but you know, I'm actually interested in this, because this has a following that is really good. And uh, let's do that. It's not that many cabs. Um, we have enough. We have 3k cabs, and that was just 800 cabs or something? I let them stay unless I'm playing a really evil faction just up for RP reasons. Yeah, I know, I know why you would do that, but in this scenario I cannot. Maybe we could do that if we play... Well, we would have to do that if we play the Texas Brotherhood, because they start with them, I think. Well, they don't have them now, I don't know why, but I think they start with them. So, we are actually punching through the robots. Look at our freaking breakthrough, that's our protection where we do this. And look at our soft attack, it's ridiculous. The hard attack is the important one here, though. And we are punching through hard. While they have good entrenchment, we still... Yeah, we can pierce them. That's the important part. That is really good that we can pierce them. And that's the heavy robots. That is great. Now we do need the same shit for our other platoons. And we're good. If, if they all have tank rifles, we're good. We can always pierce them, which is amazing. And very necessary. We need Reynosa. We are fine, though. Let's just punch a little bit more in here. They cannot take this territory, that is important. Twice in two lifetimes, intense and deadly fighting has ended in the jungle capital of Reynosa. The Alamo chapter forces cleared out robots and conscripted forces from entrenched positions. Reporters attached to frontline units stated that living soldiers in Reynosa were being rounded up as prisoners for, of war and uh, any remaining holdouts were being dealt with via high explosive and flamer units. Ooh. Bring out the flamer, brother. The heavy flamer. <laughs> in addition, any remaining mechanized forces in the area under command of the Generalissimo were being eliminated through dedicated anti-armor teams, which is every one of us. Uh, civilians formerly under Santa Anna's rule began a cautiously uh, but surely exit their homes. Began to cautiously and surely exit their homes, marveling at the absence of the omniscient presence of deadly robots patrolling the streets. Although the Ejacitos front in Reynosa was quickly evaporating. The Alamo chapter's intelligence learned that Santa Anna was rallying his army and air force to mount a counterattack and retake the city, which they are just trying, which they won't, because power armor is amazing. While losing his capital came as a heavy loss, the Generalissimo was not ready to go down without another fight or ten. Yeah, that's a problem. Reynosa's hours death to Santa Anna. Viva Mexi Mexico. Viva Mexico. Mexico. But we should be good at the moment. He doesn't have that as many troops as last time for some reason, which is good. Am I really a little bit quicker? I don't think so. It wouldn't make any sense. Uh, I'm not even looked at resources for a while or at all. We're actually pretty good on resources, to be honest. We're still trading a lot. And that's good, because that could give us some factories. We are exporting. That should give us some factories, right? How much How much is it? No, it's just available for trade. I mean, no one will trade with us. That's probably the thing. Which is fine. But more resources keeps us out, uh, autark anyway. So, that could be good. Um, 
I think it's time to go for better PA. And I think it's time to spend some, some experience there as well. Because it, the time has come to punch. And punch is what we're gonna do hard. And what we want here is connect us. And maybe trap some here. That would be the greatest thing if we could do that. Oh, and they're doing planning. Ooh, that's bad. Do we get a lot of entrenchment? Some. It's not great. It's not really great. Wait, 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 wait. Was there a minus there in entrenchment? Wow. So the guy gives us 20 and produces by 10. That's just amazing. Come on, punch through. That's what you can do. You can't punch. And they are piercing us here. That is not good. Yeah, I think we're still in a little bit of trouble. Um, we have no problem. That's something we should do. So, how are the losses? They're still bad. Oh, this is bad. Uh, this is real bad. This cannot happen. If they trap us there, we're dead. We, we have lost this campaign, if that happens, because then they just run through. And there's nothing we can do. Uh, we could go for rocket launchers. It does a better job of whatever it's doing. It's great, but... 35% pierce... Oh, that is 35 piercing, 30 piercing. We need you for heart attack, that's our problem. So, this is the one we're gonna, gonna get. Uh, get. Yeah, this is better. Okay, okay. We're fine. We should be fine. We have resource problems. Supply problems. I'm not keen on doing that, but maybe it sh it can be good if we just do this and get a 5 flowing through. Because this is still the old system, you know? Oh, this is still here, this one. Uh, but yeah, if we do this... We could get 15 factories, but this is pressing. We need to get better supply flow here. And this is still the old system, unfortunately. I would like to have the other system. Oh, this is bad. Why are you winning? What can I, do for you? I don't like that you're winning this. Still not good enough. better, but it's not good. Yeah, we're losing people. This is not a good engagement here. For us. Can I punch through here so they don't have that much of a thing? Yes, I can. And this is a bad engagement for us right now. At all. We could try and use the squishies, but that would just inflict more casualties. The problem is that they can pierce us, and I don't like it. We need to push them out here. They do have supply problems as well, which is great, because their capital is down there now. And they probably don't have that great of... It's the jungle, at least, so they don't have that great supply. This is good. This is bad. I don't want to lose Reynosa if I can. If I can, maybe keep it. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad if we lose it. Yeah, we're probably going to lose it. Um, but that means we need to retreat here. Yeah, it, see? It's such a struggle. It's such a struggle. Oh, it's so bad. Give me decim uh, improved decimetric radar and then we're going to go for the, for the thing. And I couldn't even punch through here, even though I, I can't pierce them and stuff. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, and they have Reynosa back, which is bad, because now they have perfect supply, because it's literally their capital right next to them. Ah, <sighs> it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. Do Gatecrasher and launch another, please, and also do this. I do need the dogfighting, probably, and uh, can we... Uh, where is it? It's here. Less supply use for, let's say, vehicles, I guess. And also people. Just less supply could help us here as well, because we would be... Organization is bad. 
Yeah, please. Yeah, go back. And now they have only three that could take us. It's gonna be bad. Why are you running? Oh, well, because I told you to run in there. That's not cool. I've got you now. Just defend for now. You're great at defending, guys. Yeah, look at how many people we lost. We can't have that. And the thing is, if we can connect our lines, everything is going to be better because our our concentration of force will be in favor of, of their concentration of force uh, on the opposite side because um, we will have Reynosa and they have to split up more. And when they split up, they can only do this because they are so concentrated. That's the only way they can do this. If they split up, they die. And we need to make them split up. But getting there is right now quite impossible and that sucks we do have some some makeshift uh, fire team weapons so we do need you here perfect easy choice do it uh, I think you need that as well and apparently we can do that that's not right give him a second Corridor of guns. Oh, that's a bad one. Yeah, it's not not it, but it should be fine if I do this. And when we are in the green, both of our main uh, types have have the thing, and should be prepared to murderize these people. Corridor of guns. Guns, guns, guns. Usually our brothers and sisters get very excited about the prospect of finding automated futuristic weapon systems that can cut down a man, even if in T-51B in seconds. There is one exception to this, though. One small exception. If the guns are pointed at our brothers, it is a very different thing. Isn't that curious? Hey, Red Harvest uh, Air. Hello again. I slightly nodded off on the couch. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That I'm that uh, boring. We have to decide that we want what we want to do. How will we be, uh, best this particular obstacle? So, oh, we have the superior hack. I thought it was a it was a a uh, of her, a thing of her, a Rosado's thing, but maybe not. We just need enough. Let's do the superior hack because then we will not lose any manpower. By whatever means we manage to get past those turrets, let us hope we won't see more of these troublesome things. Onwards, more military workshops. Great. Uh, yeah, we didn't lose any expeditionary power and in 30 days we will have more codes and we can we can go further. Hijacker. Oh, we don't have the side channel attack yes, uh, yet. Yeah. We, can, we don't control Houston. Okay. So we could get one unused... Con yeah, this gives three. This gives one. So this one is better. And this will give 25... Soldiers to the expedition, which we don't need right now, so it's good. Um, no. I never said attack them just like that, because that is murderous and you just lost me a lot of people. And probably a lot of equipment as well. <sighs> which is still a problem, the equipment. Relics of the past. To safeguard the past is our duty, even if it is out of physical reach. Codes, equipment, satellites. Let us use them to discover, to, pre uh, to prevent humanity from abusing technology once more. Only those worthy enough shall wield the sword. Yeah, it's still quite elitist, but okay. Magnify. We get even more decryption, and intelligence, and extra stuff. Cool. Really, really, really good stuff here. And now no one can can encrypt against us. We are just too good. And we have the laser pistol. That's cool. Where should we go next? Here. Yes. Get the razor, radar stations to Houston. So we give them stuff, which is bad because the, the Brotherhood will take over. But we need to do this before Houston falls. At some point, they will take them over, I think. Yes. Go for laser weaponry. And then Im increase. And increase this as well. We lost We lost my power armor again. I mean, we are using them to, you know, conscript more soldiers, so that's a point as well. Uh, yeah, go for the division recovery rate, yes. And then I want the focusing arrays, more piercing even, this is so good. Am I fine with the ahead of time penalty and almost a year of research just putting, uh, just me putting in there? Actually, this is better. If put to a test, this is better. 
at the moment. Yeah, we need these codes before we can proceed. Well, that was important. We needed to hack those turrets without loss because we cannot reinforce the troops there. We're still getting enough manpower, so this is still fine. They are still trying to push us out again. Which we make it make very easy for them because we hold this territory for no reason at all. But they're putting in normal infantry, which is interesting. We could murder these like crazy sauce. The robots are the one that are... The oh, look at that. He put... He gave them uh, uh, anti-tank weapons. That's why they can pierce us. It's the only reason they can pierce us. Okay. And we are trying to pierce them harder with this, which is not that important. If we can pierce them... Yeah, but we also get more hard attack. A little bit more soft attack, though. This gives hard attack. This gives some hard attack, not enough. What gives us more hard attack? Yeah, the, yeah, okay, the problem is we don't have any other choice anyway because demolitions don't give hard attack. Uh, very few. Five? Actually, that's not bad. Actually, not bad. This gives even more. But if we get this, yeah, hard attack is not a problem anymore. Look at that. From 4 up to 13. That's gonna be a difference maker. And I also want the rocket launchers at some point. We should probably improve this as well. Nothing free, but we, we will get there. Do we have enough support equipment? We do have a lot, so maybe... Um, again. Put them all in here. So maybe we should give them more... Recon and stuff. I don't have the experience is the problem. Haha, <laughs> great. I lost all the experience for no reason. We're still getting air experience right now. We need to build that up, but it's okay. Play communistic Czechoslovakia? That doesn't exist. Hello Lord Kitty Cat Uvo, but that doesn't exist. Now I've been doing it for a week now. I'm lucky I haven't had any important meetings or something scheduled. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that, Red Harvest. But yeah, that can be quite annoying indeed. If we could punch through here, they would need more robots to control us and that would make them maybe a little bit weaker. Security force fields. Pre-war USA always had a penchant for blocking progress of those that wanted to compete. Mm -hmm. Little little slap in the face there. Uh, and by the way, Lord Kitty Cat Uwe, I'm not going to play vanilla because I don't like vanilla that much. Uh, Pulse fields that easily allow uh, those with the right genetic makeup to pass unhindered are one such obstacle. Everyone not coded for them simply ceases to exist once trying to pass them. Disintegrated into atomic particles. The faint glow they emit uh, makes this section of the fort so deep underground seem particularly eerie. Let us hope we will find a way around or way back. I thought we had enough to hack those, but we need to retreat first. Uh, why didn't we have enough? Oh, that's bad. Because I cannot get more at the moment for some reason, and I don't know why. Does it have a cooldown? No, there it is. Okay, good, good, good. It does have a little cooldown, but that's fine. Do it again. I don't care about research as much as I care about more factories that I get for free. And these are off-map, I think. Or even if not, it doesn't really matter. We just need more. Because they get their own slots at it as well. Yeah, our power armor is not being produced well enough. How's it going? Yeah, we're still getting more... And it's important that we do this. It's important that we build these, but it's not important for, for me to build them now, I think. I'd like to have 16 factories that I could use, because then one could work on this while we work on more factories here, on, on the better ones. Uh, attempt repairs, cool, and now go... Yes. This is good. I think when we can plea for help, I think that's the moment we will win this. At the very least. So we need to get there. We are already researching uh, the, the rate. Oh, this is getting sour again. It's turning sour for some reason and I don't know why. 
We were losing people too much. Let's try and go here and make them make them suffer a bit. They need to lose equipment and stuff, so it's important to do. Th oh God! It's still important to do this. We just need more power armor. Is the problem? Let's go and fight Reynosa again. And take that from them to make them have more troubles. I know this war is going nowhere. This is a side channel attack that we need to get more uh, codes, but. Yeah. Research would help us, but what, what what would help us more is these. I hope. Recon and stuff, you know. So what we want is get rid of this one. If we go here, we can do this. Can we hold out long enough to get rid of this? We need to come from here as well. Okay. The problem is we're losing equipment that we cannot afford to lose. Yeah, see, we lost a lot of power armor that day. We are getting more. The efficiency is growing, and efficiency is definitely what we need. Oh, this is not good, guys. This is this is not cool. We have too few power armor to hold this. Oh, this is bad. This cannot fall. This is fine if it falls. We need to turn back again. We cannot hold this. We don't have enough troops. And enough equipment. And now they can already, you know, go around us again. And surround us. A uh, heavy capacitor weapon. That is amazing. And I think I'm gonna go here for more heart attack. I want more heart attack. That's why I have these guns. Or I will have these guns. Build them. We need more. We need more factories here. We got one more. By now for what? Oh yeah, yeah, because of the other thing. Cool. So we're gonna hold here, and if we can hold Renosa, maybe that helps. And I do want them to attack us, but I want them to attack us when it's bad for them. That is the important part. How long until we get the... 100 days, so yeah, we can do a few more of these things. Uh, Bulwark, we don't have core territory there. We you know what? Open up the armory. Get some get some power armor, guys. We need to go in the in the green again. It's almost like things further need more to get past, more codes or more manpower, whichever way you're going. Well, the manpower thing is bad, and I don't need it. I think the codes will be fine. Yeah, there it goes. I don't even think we have another section there. I think that's the end, and that's gonna be great. That's gonna be so great. You're gonna see. Wait a second. It's it's amazing. I mean, we do need to do something, and I need to punch through here. Oh, we do need... Yeah, do we do need one more. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Heck that shit. Thank you. We managed it by code of force. We are through. How deep does this rabbit hole go? I think that's the last one now. How much more must we endure to finally reach our destination? Onwards. More workshops. Yes. And that's why that is so important. You need these workshops. The rest is actually just a thing. It's fine. But the workshops are important. I mean, in the end, there will be something really good. Oh, and Caesar's Legion. Okay, they joined. Great. Uh, that is fine. Oh, because they were attacked, I think. Yeah, we're getting ripped apart here, which I don't like. And we're losing and losing and losing men. Go down there and help them. And, you know, be a bulwark. Be the bulwark in the night. They, aren't, they can't be allowed to do this anymore. I don't like that. If we can punch through here, that, that would change a thing or two. 
Because they would need to take some of these troops and put them here, I think. And the more uh, infantry they have, the, the easier it will be for us. We need more training done. We need more troops in the field. That is so important. Get rid of the attrition, I guess. The rest is not that good. I don't know... Humalian, you know this game. Does artillery attack do anything in this? It does in vanilla because there is literally artillery there. But does it do anything here? Is there any artillery? I mean, the closest thing to artillery, I would say, is the fire, fire teams. But even that is, is a far, far stretch. I mean, it's not really artillery. Nothing is. I mean, maybe these? It's not artillery. You don't think so? Yeah, so that is just a useless nonsense that you could choose. So I'm going to choose something that actually matters. Thank you, game. And thank you, Yomalian. Because I did need to know that. How is actually our occupation going? We need those. We need more manpower from that. And then we can push hard. Okay, we get some compliance gain here. That's neat. Yeah, okay, we're already at voluntary fighter, so we will get some manpower, and then if we core it, we will get everything from that. Punch through this time. That's why you have a lot more people there. Burn them down. The problem is the constant attacking here. I don't like it. What we could do, though... I mean, it's still multiple sides, right? That's not great. We opened the armory, that gives us more uh, armor, but the thing is, how much do we have now? Because we're bleeding through it. No, it's, it's, it's okay. It's actually... Ooh, that is bad. Do we have money? We have some. Is that enough to buy something? Yes, it is. It's the worst crap, but at least we have some equipment. It's better than none. That's a definite. So, I would need a bunker here, to be honest, to, to keep uh, doing this. So, if I do this and put that on top, that would be a thing. And then we could probably hold out better and they couldn't attack us. So, let's try that. Uh, in other ways... Get some research, just so we have that, because we will need to go through that anyway. We didn't do it?! Oh, what the heck? Push through! You guys as well! We should have enough reinforcement rate and stuff. Ah, the problem is our divisions suck. Uh, they don't, they are really, really good, but they suck in terms of... Uh, we cannot deploy enough. They're too big. And we don't have multiple angles of attack. Oh, this is bad. Uh, losing there is not a good thing. But I do want to keep Reynosa, because that's gonna make them try. I do want to make them cry. More heart attack. 10% is really nice. I'm not gonna go the purity route. I don't like it. It's more enclave. This is my RP choice. I'm gonna go this one. And give my whole army more defense and reconnaissance and everything. And more, you know, capacity. Get in there. The problem is we're bleeding men right now. That's not cool. And also equipment, which is even worse. Oh yeah, we're bleeding way too much. Okay, go back, go back, go back. It's not worth holding this to bleed that much equipment here. And they will stop soon. They must. Because they're bleeding equipment oh, as well. Could you please go back here? You idiots! I never told you to go there, you fools. That lost us a lot of people. That was really dumb that they did that. It wasn't my fault, guys. Not at all. It was theirs. The piercing is not that important right now, but getting better weapons always is. And what's even more important? Build all the shit. Okay, a few more people here. Cool. Uh, oh god, please don't do that again. Ah, no! Ah! What is happening? These glitches, they're so bad. Uh, just mentioning it, but you have a ton of manpower. More troops might do more good. Yeah, the problem is, uh, for troops, I need equipment. For equipment, I need, you know, factories. 
I'm not even producing these anymore. What is happening? Uh, somehow these got up here. Okay, let's do this. And put down four of them. Because we need to produce these. These are these are our saving grace. They give heart attack like crazy sauce. Uh, give me more man, po uh, more power armor as well if we can. Don't know why it shifts my factory sometimes. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. We still cannot punch through, and I don't know why. And I lost already more than I than I did last time. Before I could combine these, and that's not good. And I'm not really sure why that is the case. I definitely want local leader for you, because I want more power armor with you. Okay, we, we definitely... And I'm already low on manpower, by the way. You say we have a lot of manpower. Game says no. I think that's fine. I think we don't need more. I, I think it's the last stage. So we don't need to invest more research in that. I want to power through this. Is there anything? Yeah, there is anything more important. I need these. I need these power armor and ghost rifles uh, to, at my disposal. We need to put a cut in here. I'm gonna do one more today. Yes, I'm gonna go over it really late, but that's fine. I only have home office tomorrow, so that should be okay. Should be okay. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a like if you like. Sub me YouTube if you haven't, and follow me on Twitter and on Twitch, and come to Discord. I see you there. Blub blub. And next episode. I hope we're gonna punch a little bit harder and kill Santa Ana. See you then. Bye-bye.